Hello, I'm Pure back with another map making tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a desynced object in your map. With, with this I mean the objects won't synchronize, so everyone will see a different thing. Um, this works because of a certain thing in the code, which makes it so if there are more than 50 objects in the map, it will not uh, synchronize the next objects. So basically what you need to do is put 50 grounds or objects in your map. Uh, one thing you need to note is that grounds uh, have priority over normal objects. So that means a uh, ground will be synced before an object. So you can't make uh, desynced grounds because you can only place 50 grounds. So what you want to do, you want to, uh, if you decide how your map is going to look, let's say your map is going to be a flat map. So a flat map is really easy because then you can hide all the objects underneath the map. If if you don't do a flat map, you have to f figure something out. Basically what you want to do is you want to go down below the map. I press space to move the map, by the way. So you know. Um, you want to place the ground. You, uh, you want to make a box somewhere off screen. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to make a box that is underneath the chat here so anything here will be displayed so if I go escape now I'll, oh well I should remove this ground if I go escape now you won't see the box because it's underneath this thing here so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place all the grounds possible and then we add objects still it's 50 so right now we have to place 46 grounds and then four objects I will place a bit more objects just to be sure and for every ground you want to place, you have to remove one and add an object. That's pretty much the idea behind it. So, um, and it can't be just a normal ground. It has to be a dynamic ground. So we're going to get uh, a rectangle because it's the smallest. And we're going to make it dynamic, make it fixed rotated because that would cause less lag. Uh, linear damping highest is probably the smartest as well, so it doesn't uh, shoot everywhere. You might even do it without a box if you keep linear damping and you put all the objects aside from each other. And now let's duplicate this like uh, until the number at the top says 50. Okay, now the number at the top says 50. Um, that means we still need to add a few more objects. Uh, we're gonna spawn. I think I'm just gonna put some little boxes. I think maybe, maybe, maybe six or something, just to be sure. Or seven. Well, that should do. Uh, what you also want to do is spread these around a bit so it doesn't start lagging because if they all collide with each other, it can cause lag. Uh, if you use the um, the linear damping, you don't you don't need the box. But I always recommend it in case the objects fall down and start, and if they fall too uh, too much down, they will despawn. So you want to prevent that. So I'm gonna spread these out a bit. That is so the collision is not like messing around. You can also align them really nicely and put them nice next to each other and 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 have a really fancy thing. But I never really cared about alignment off screen because no one sees it anyways. So what? Well, if, except if someone is stealing your XML using a uh, utility or whatever you can use to steal XMLs nowadays. You can st steal XMLs with mini games as well, so... Hmm. Well, no one will see this except in this video. And I know it's two years and I think that's enough spreading, right? Okay. Um, now I'll spawn a uh, mouse here. You probably won't have any idea what's going on on this map until I... I show this in a room. I probably have to get someone together to get this to work. Um, yeah, I will export the map. Just because I have to show you, I might cut this bit and call someone to my tribe house for testing purposes. Maybe get get a friend over. Uh, let's see, who can I get over? <laughs> um, Okay, I got fearing over. I didn't tell her why I uh, added her here, so it will be funny when she realizes it. Uh, did I keep the code? Oh, gladly, I kept the code. Okay, so now I loaded this map. Um, I'm going to spawn a ball, and the thing is, 
if she if I push this ball she on the other hand will not see the ball at the same location like um, like she might be yeah look, look at her she's moving really weirdly she's probably she was probably playing with the ball and it's hard to understand at this point but also uh, let's see if I have other objects um, to show this with balloons for example won't explode so if she, if there's uh, more than three mice also if I push this balloon to the right she will probably see the balloon at a different location see now she is flying um, on a different location than where I see the balloon that's also a part of the D thing so you can make uh, balloons and stuff with that uh, which won't explode which is really nice uh, non exploding balloons that's quite nice right um, also cannons and all that stuff won't glitch as much and mechanisms work in a really interesting way and you can um, mess with that yourself this is more like here this is how you desync your map and have fun with it kind of thing uh, I, I'm kind of planning on making more videos on mechanisms because I'm kind of tired of all the the joints thingies that just bore the hell out of me so I might make some tutorials on how to make fun things in maps I guess people would like that more than the weird uh, words and XML editing because oh that's fucking boring. <sighs> boring as hell. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you can do something with this and have a nice day.